that you ask. And today I have nothing to give you, not, no papers, not even any plants, no vegetables. Okay? But I do have uh, thanks for making the decision on Project Excel that matched all the research that various people had done. For whatever reasons you made the decision, thank you for doing that. And also, thanks for keeping the agendas available on the website and putting them on the Facebook site. I, and I didn't notice they're on the Facebook site, but that's a good move, too. Speaking of the Facebook site, I think that's where I picked up the story about uh, Moody and their recent solar installation, which I blogged, just so you know I don't always blog negative things about the industrial authority. Also positive things. I was careful to give credit. And I really liked what I heard today about uh, trying to determine what the desirable industries are in, for a sustainable economy that matches local labor. Yes, I think that's what we all want. Um, I, I was a little disturbed about it. It's been massaged for three years. I was good for it until I realized we were talking about the RFP, not the final result. And uh, I, I am hoping, like Dr. Noel, that before there is a final result, that Perhaps the rest of the community will get to see what are these desirable industries that you're considering. Maybe even some of the community will be able to make suggestions. I certainly hope it has to do with education, for example, with BSU and Valdosta Tech and Valdosta Military College, and we all know about those. And you know, speaking of military and solar, those seem two obvious things that might be brought into the mix. And for all I know, you've already got all these on your list, but that's kind of the point. Nobody knows. And people in the community, would like to know, might like to help. The community can help you. I think that's kind of my main theme. Um, and I have one other thing here that, um, oh yes, trees on the median. Yes, great idea. Can you convince the county to do that? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Quarterman. Any other citizens who would like to be heard?